Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's me, Caesar again here, and I know I've been uploading for a very long time, but a message explained that it will be uploaded soon. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to get Create Your Frisk on Android. It's basically an Android port of Create Your Frisk. So let's get started. So first up, you're going to want to search for it. Uh, be specific though, because it will search up something else. Oh, uh, I'll show. I'll show the thing later because you're gonna need that soon then uh, look for create your droid undertale because it's gonna search something else I already said that again sorry so then you're gonna look for this guy named lava studios uh, click it and then you're gonna want to go all the way down until you find the release dates uh, click on the latest and then go to assets there that's when you're gonna download the CYD release you got APK but you're also gonna need to download the assets because I'm gonna show you later in the video but uh, anyways once the once the download once the once it finishes downloading uh, you're gonna want to install it and it's gonna look like the icon next to my power director and right at the bottom of gamepad so when I say that we're not done yet um, if you do launch the game early, uh, you're gonna see a, you're just gonna see, like, just a text saying, like, something's missing. But anyways, uh, to fix that, that's where the assets come in. So, you're gonna go to Z Archiver, or any type of thing you use. And then you're gonna wanna go to Storage, and the Downloads. Uh, it's gonna be on your downloads because what's called I already deleted it and I've already done it So then you're gonna go to data uh, Well first you're gonna need to go to Android then data then you're gonna search for com.tireteam.cyf android Once there go there then go to files and that's where you're gonna place the uh, What's called The assets so now that's now that that's done that's when you're going to be able to start getting some, I don't know, like, fan battles into this. So, there's already some defaults to help you out with the game. But, obviously, you're going to want to play uh, other people's stuff on Game Jolt. So, you're going to want to go download something from Game Jolt. Then you're going to want to extract it just like before. But this time, you're going to want to extract it to mods and then uh, extract it from there. Uh... There, that's where you're going to see um, the games that you're going to play. Like, for example, I've already got Undertale Disbelief Papyrus and Kara into this. Uh, honestly, the Kara one's pretty hard to be exact. But I think Merge can do a no-hit, right? Anyways, so we're not done yet. We still need to... Uh, so we're going to go to Gamepad and do that. So there, um, we're going to... First, you're going to need to enable the gamepad in settings. Then you're going to need to put as a current input. That's when you're going to go into the settings to configure things. Now, it's just like the original Undertale in... Uh, what's it called? In PC. The So, here are the buttons configurations. The For the D-pads, you're going to need... You're obviously going to do the D-pads. But in the buttons... Um, um, the X, Y, and Z are in the bottom, so it's so it's best to configure X with Z, Y with X, and Z with C. So one, uh, if you want, you can also configure it for like other things. That you can configure B for escape. Uh, I put A for enter, cause and C for like um different types of mappings. Like in disbelief, uh, I think you need to press P in order to do something. I don't know save or something but uh anyways once you're done uh you're gonna want to first test it to make sure that the the notification appears make sure that everything's good but yeah once that's done you should be good to go uh when you launch the app you should you should see like some some icon like some games already there and even your uh, even the mods you've put on will also show so you're going to want to click the 
gamepad keyboard to show. Oh, I I did not mean to start the game. Uh, give me a sec, I did something wrong. Uh, Alright, give me a second. Alright, because it didn't work, uh, I'm going to need to retest it. And if you hear the vibration, then that means it's working. So then, I'm going to try this again. And then, yeah, I'm going to show you a bit of gameplay. Uh, I've already seen this. Alright, so honestly, this is the hardest fight I've ever done. Like I said, uh, it the the knives are pretty unpredictable. You actually have to exit the game in order for this to work. So, anyways, you can pull it out as much as you like. But the one thing that you do need to know is that uh, if you switch keyboards, uh, it will not work whatsoever. So it's best to... So, But that's only for phones that actually support the down keyboard thing. Other than that, you should be good to go. Alright, I'm going to try one more time, then I'm going to end the video. Let's skip, skip. Gotcha. I almost forgot. It's, it's unpredictable. All right, I'm done. Uh, I'll show more. Like I'll show more later once the video gets done. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe. Or no, no, no. Uh, if you liked it, put a like in the in the button. And if you want to see more of this, uh, make sh uh, then click the subscribe button. And and if you want to get notified some things to like some of my videos then notification bell would be a good ding but anyways uh see you guys next time peace